I'm Jack Harrington, a principal front-end software engineer, and on this JavaScript quick fix, we are going to take a look at why in JavaScript and TypeScript, const aren't always constant. Let's jump right into the code. All right, well, I'm going to start off with a numeric value that I'm going to set to 5, and I'm going to use let to define that, which means that this is a mutable value. And currently, it's at 5, but I could just as easily set it to 6, and then it would be 6. Now, let's do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do it with a constant and do it with a string. I'm going to set that to Jack and let's take a look at what the value is when well, the value is Jack and then I can try to redefine that I can say Jack equals John in this case or string value equals John and in this case of course we get an error assignment to a constant variable so we're not gonna be able to do that okay fine that makes sense we've declared a constant and we can't redefine a constant okay let's try the same thing but now we'll do it with an object we'll create one called person and in there, we'll create a key name and the value Jack. And we can see that the person is an object with the name of Jack. And now let's try to redefine that. So I'm going to do person again. And then this time name is John. And of course, I can't get an assignment to a constant variable. Person in this case is constant. Makes total sense. But what if instead I do this? Person.name equals John. Now let's take a look. And we can see now that I've redefined the contents of that object to be John. So why is this? Well, let's go take a look at this from a diagramming perspective. So our initial number value is a mutable object. So that's dashed in this case. Our string value is constant, and it's got that big thick border around it showing that it's constant. And our person is also a constant, but what's constant about it? Well, what's constant about it is this reference right here, this reference to a mutable object. And if you're like, well, wait a second, how do I make this object constant? We well, can't actually get there from here. TypeScript can help you with that a little bit, but it's at build time and not at runtime. So that's really all that's constant about an object is your reference to it. And so on our initial assignment, we were trying to change the reference, which is why we got an assignment to a constant issue. But when it came to actually changing the contents in here, no problemo according to JavaScript. All right, let's take a little bit further of a look at this in terms of how it relates to state managers. So let's say back up here, I pass this off to a state manager. So we have stored state, and we just set it to person. And now I can do triple equals, and I can say, does store state equal person? And that gets true. It does indeed equal person. No problem. But now I've mutated person down here. I've now changed Jack to John. So is stored state equal to person? Yes, it is, even though I've changed the contents. So why is that? Well, let's go back to our diagram tool. Okay, so let's have a look at this. We've got our constant person and our constant stored state, and they both point to exactly the same shared object. When we did that equals, we made them do that. And then when we ask with the triple equals, are they the same? Absolutely they are because these two references are the same. And that's what you're asking with the triple equals. And that's what state managers use when they evaluate to see if something's actually changed. So let's go take this over into React and see how this actually impacts something like use state. All right, so here's a very simple React app. We have a use state that returns a person and a set person that connects to a, an input that has a value on it of the person with the person.name and on name change is attached to on change. And so now let's and see if this works. Let's click here. And of course, nothing happens because nothing's happening in this event handler. So let's go and put on there person.name equals event target value. So does that work? Huh? Nope, nothing doing. But we kind of get that because we actually haven't called set person yet. So let's do set person, person. And let's try that out over here. And nothing doing still. So what's happening here? Well, in this case, the code behind UState is seeing that the value, the reference that you're sending to set person is the same person value or reference that we had before. And so it's not going to make any changes. What you need to do instead is create a new object with all of the values from the original person and where you override the key of name to be the new event target value. And this works because we're creating a new object every time, which generates a new object reference, which triggers set person to actually do the state update. All right, so a quick recap on this. 
When it comes to simple values like numbers, booleans, and strings, let and const work just fine and as you'd expect. But when it comes to objects and arrays, you're storing references and not storing the values in those references. And those references don't change when you mutate the array or the object. Well, I hope this helps avoid some of the common pitfalls that people run into in JavaScript and TypeScript when it comes to references. Of course, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button, share the video with your friends, click on that bell, and you'll be notified the next time a new one of these comes out.